In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your CPU to get a huge performance boost in Fortnite. Make sure that you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss a tweak and you can get the absolute full performance out of your CPU. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. The first thing we're going to be doing is really simple. You just need to head over to your task manager, head up onto startup, and inside here, disable any of the apps you don't want opening when your PC boots up. Doing this will reduce the amount of processes your CPU has when your PC turns on, so you don't have to go and manually close everything, improving the performance of your game. Once you've done this, we'll be closing off the task manager and moving on to the next tweak. The next tweak we're gonna be doing is searching for system and opening up system configuration. Heading over to boot, put in no GUI boot with a tick in the box. Timeout, set this to five or three seconds. Then you want to click on advanced options here, click on number of processors, tick this box, and then select the maximum amount. Mine has 8, yours might have 16, 32, 24. Just select the highest amount, click OK, click apply, click OK again, tick this box that says don't show this message again, and exit without restart as we restart our PC at the end of the video. The next thing we're going to be doing is clicking the Windows key and searching for power, opening up edit power plan. Inside here, click change advanced power settings. And right here on this drop down, you want to select either high performance or ultimate performance. Or if you have any custom ones like me, you can use those. But if you don't, I would recommend high or ultimate performance. And once you've done that, click OK. Then we're going to be clicking this arrow that's pointing up. And inside here, make sure you have the same power plan selected and you're good to go. But before we continue with the tweaks, I want to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Risen Tweaks. Risen Tweaks is a tweaking service that offers all of these different tweaking packages with tons of positive reviews and they're also super cheap. I would definitely recommend going and checking them out as after I used these extreme tweaks and compared them to a stock windows I was getting about a 150 FPS boost so I would definitely recommend checking those out. I'll leave the link in the description and if you are purchasing them make sure to use code RUFFY and you can save 15% off any pack. But back to the video, the next thing we're going to be doing is clicking Windows R and typing in Reg Edit clicking on enter and then inside here you want to head over to the left make sure you can see all of these files here i'm going to be clicking on h key local machine dropping this down dropping down software dropping down microsoft windows nt current version image file execution options and then here you want to right click and click new then click key and you want to name this fortnite client dash win 64 dash shipping dot exe click enter then you want to right click again, click new, add a new key. Then you want to name this PERF options, click enter. And then inside here, you want to right click new, create a D word 32 bit value. And you want to name this CPU priority class, click enter. And then you want to double click this and set this to a value of three. Once you've done that, click OK and you can close out of the registry editor. Now the last CPU tweak you can do when you're on Fortnite all you need to do is click the Windows key, right click on the taskbar, head over to the task manager. Then from here, you want to head over to details. And inside here, you want to scroll down until you find Fortnite. And as you can see, the one with the 3000 kilobytes, you want to right click this, set the priority to high when you're playing, or you can set it to real time. And then here on set affinity, you want to do this and just untick CPU zero. This can boost your FPS in Fortnite when you're playing as your CPU focuses more on the game and not on background tasks. But that is going to be it for this video guys. I do hope it helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.